Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to go over three worked examples to show you how to do problems involving light years. Now if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says Proxima Centauri, the next nearest star to our sun, is 4.2 light years from the Earth. Calculate this distance in metres. Well, first you want to find how many metres are in one light year. And remember to do this, we use speed distance time, where the speed is the speed of light and the time is the number of seconds in one year. So if we're trying to find the distance of one light year in metres, we have d is what we're trying to find, the speed v is the speed of light from your data sheet, 3 times 10 to the 8 metres per second, and the time is equal to 365 days times 24 hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds to get the number of seconds in one year. So putting that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 3153600 seconds. And notice how I've not rounded that answer because I want to just plug it in and then round my answer at the end. So writing down our equation, we have d equals vt. Substituting in the numbers gives 3 times 10 to the 8 times 31,536,000. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 9.46 times 10 to the 15 meters. Now, some of you might have remembered that that is the value for one light year in meters. And if that's the case, then all you need to do now is take this value and multiply it by 4.2 to get the number of light years in meters. So because we're going from light years into meters, we're going to get a bigger number. So we can say now convert from light years to meters. And all we need to do is 4.2 times that 9.46 times 10 to the 15. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of roughly 4.0 times 10 to the 16 meters. Question 2 says a star is found to be 7.8 times 10 to the 16 metres from Earth. How far away is the star in light years? Well this time we want to convert from metres into light years, so we want a smaller number. So that means we're going to divide in the end. So first of all, let's find how many metres are in one light year, just like we did in question 1. So by the same strategy we're trying to find the distance t, we know the speed v is the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 metres per second, and the time is the number of seconds in one year, which is the 3156000 seconds. So writing down our equation, we have d equals vt, which equals 3 times 10 to the 8 times 3153600, and that should give us the same 9.46 times 10 to the 15 metres. And the reason we've done this again, just like you did in question 1, is that it's a very useful thing to be able to do if you're doing these kind of questions involving light years. So you can either remember this calculation to get how many metres are in one light year, or you can just remember this value of 9.46 times 10 to the 15 metres. So now that we know this, we want to divide to get from metres into light years. So now to convert from metres to light years, we do 7.8 times 10 to the 16 divided by 9.46 times 10 to the 15. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 8.2 light years once you round it. Lastly, question 3 says a planet is 9 times 10 to the minus 4 light years from the sun. How long does it take for light to travel from the sun to the planet? Well, notice how we're not asked for a distance this time, it's actually just asking us for how long it takes, so a time. But in order to find the time, we need a distance in metres, not in light years, because we can't use the units of light years in our speed distance time equation. So let's first find how many metres are in one light year again, just like we did in questions 1 and 2. So we have d is what we're trying to find, v is the speed of light, and t is how many seconds are in one year. So we get this value again, which we can sub into our equation d equals vt. Substituting in the numbers again gives us 3 times 10 to the 8 times 3156000, and we should get the same answer as before, 9.46 times 10 to the 15 metres, or just remember this value. And now we can convert from light years to metres. So we can do 9 times 10 to the minus 4 times 9.46 times 10 to the 15. We're multiplying this time because we're going from light years to metres, so we want a bigger number. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer for the distance of 8.5 times 10 to the 12 metres. And lastly, we want to calculate the time. So we're trying to find the time t. We know the distance now is 8.5 times 10 to the 12 metres, and the speed v is the speed of light, 3 times 10 to the 8 metres per second. So writing down our equation, we have d equals vt. Rearranging for the time t, we can divide both sides by v to get t equals d over v. Substituting in the numbers gives 8.5 times 10 to the 12 divided by 3 times 10 to the 8. And if you put that into your calculator, you should get an answer of 2.8 times 10 to the 4 seconds. And if you wanted to know how many minutes that was, you could divide it by 60 to get an answer of roughly 467 minutes. And if you wanted to find how many hours that was, you could divide it by 60 again to get an answer of roughly 7.8 hours. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.